guys welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me um, I'm going to tie a wee flat salmon fly called the poker shrimp now the hook in the vise is a partridge patriot double in size 10 black nickel the thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread 80 in red so we're just going to come in and get our thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook let's run on a few mil of thread and remove the, the waist tag now the tag at the back is going to be a oval silver tinsel and this is an oval silver tinsel in size 14 that I'm using. I'm just going to catch it in underneath the shank of the hook and then work my thread down to hang this in just until my thread sort of way in line with the, the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel and on the last turn bring it up and in between the two hooks. Now, that locks in your that locks in your tag for you. Just keeps the fly a wee bit stronger. Maybe take a couple of fish and just trim away the, the excess. The tail's in two parts. The first part is yellow bucktail. Just got a wee pinch off here. And you're just sort of way wanting this around about twice the length of the hook over the back with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns will secure that in. Just lift the excess. Just take that away in a bit of a tapered cut. I'm going to put two strands of uh, yellow crystal flash in the tail. Just get them off a desk here. Now, it doesn't have to be yellow crystal flash. It can just be whatever flash that you have. In your kit, run with a couple of turns, fold the access back, then we'll come in and trim away the, the access of the, the flash. Now, at this point, we're just going to advance our thread forward, just hang in the, the, the cut ends here, just to make for a stronger fly. You want the fly to last. Last thing you want to be doing, in my opinion, is to be tying flies in the middle of the the fishing season. Now on the way back down we're going to catch in the rib and the ribs the oval, are the oval gold in size 14 I want to use. Now you could use a, a gold wire, you don't have to use oval silver and oval gold tinsel to tie the fly. Just going to catch it in underneath. Just run my thread back down tied up against the, the tail. The next part of the tail is going to be the an orange cock hackle. Now this is a very webby cock. This is the feather off the back of a saddle. So we're just going to take a couple of turns to catch the tip in and fold the tip back. A couple of turns up over the top of the tip and break it away. And then we're just going to Stroke these back and do one turn in front of the other. Now, a turn and a half of the hand haggle here, or the, sorry, the cock haggle should be enough. It's going to be plenty there. I'm just going to, sorry about the fingers, just going to catch this in underneath. A couple of tight turns. And then I'm going to come in and trim away the, the excess. And I'm just going to come in with my toothbrush. Just to open up the, the haggle a bit. Bring it back, my thread back down into position. Now we're looking ground. Now the dubbing's in two parts. On the original fly, it's an F and F red and dubbing for the rear. This is just a red uh, fly shaboo dubbing. Just use what you have guys. You can even put on uh, red floss. doesn't have to be dubbing or seals for SLF. Anything that you've got. You don't need to be running out to the shops to buy that stuff. The fly will still work. 
the front part is rainbow light bright. Yet again, only original pattern, just to keep people informed. It's a rainbow SLF, or sorry, uh, F and F, or FF, that's what they call it. I'm just going to dub that on, and then we'll work this up the second part of the body. Now, then we're going to come around with our, our rib. Just a couple of wee fibers there, get those back. And then you're looking four turns of the oval gold tinsel up the body, nice and tight to protect that body. And a couple of turns to secure. Come in and trim away the excess of the, the oval gold tinsel. Now you can come in and bring out some of the dubbing if you wish. Just a wee bit of Velcro. Brush out some of the, the dubbing. and brush it back. Now the wing is the yellow and red opossum. Now I've had that for a long time. You can see the flies that I've had already. I've had that patch now for, jeez, um, a long time. Basically from Pussy was a kitten. You just want a wee small pinch of this really mobile, mobile her. I think most people will have seen it there. Will have this in their in their fly tank kit. Right. We're just going to offer this up. I'm going to leave some of the, the longer guard hers in. And I sort of way want this just coming sort of way to the, the back of the haggle on the tail. Just going to pinch and loop. A couple of tight turns. Then come in and just trim away the, the excess. A bit of away. Bring that background into focus for you. Now don't worry about this at the minute, it's sitting a wee bit high. We'll, we'll sort that out in a second. Just tie that in. Then I'm going to come in with two strands of mirror flash for the wing. And this is the ex this is the, the blue. Or a flash that I'm going to use. Right. Let's get the other one off my desk. There's a lovely glint off these. It's a good fly, this for peaty water. I just get the two strands offered up into the wing. And with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns, fold the excess back. Then you come in, keep a hold of the excess, trim those away. And then we can get our flies sorted now. The states just stuck together there. Do another couple of turns. Yeah. Just want to check the length. Okay, I'll be enough of that. So just want to get a level bit of thread down for the front. Now the, the haggle at the front can be a chartreuse badger haggle. And I'm going to use the chartreuse lace one. This will just make it a wee bit more mobile. So I'm just stroking back the fibres to reveal the tip. After that up to the hook, two turns catches in the tip. Fold the tip back, bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the hackle. Come in and break away the tip. And we'll just stroke these fibres back and you're looking. Turn the half, two turns of the, the lace wing. Um, just depends how much chartreuse or how much colour you want in the fly, sorry. Just want to show you the wee patterns. I'm not here to preach to you now. Just gonna, I'm happy enough with that, so I'm just going to follow this around with my thread. Catch that in. A couple of tight turns will secure in the haggle. Come in and trim away the remainder of the haggle. I'm just going to come in, just anything it wants to go for, I'm just going to fold it back. Get a bit of thread down at the front for a jungle cat now. I'm just going to open the wee hackle out for you, just to let you see the colour 
that you get. Now, as you have said, you could put the jungle cock on before the front tackle if you wish. It's up to you. Um, so I'm just going to put mine on now after the the haggle. So that's the two eyes that I'm going to use. As always, you don't have to use jungle cock guys. You can leave it out. It is expensive. Right, just going to offer them up the hook. Just going to come in and hold them on the hook. These are just loose turns. Then we'll come in and check. Just going to check the length of the jungle cock just before we secure it all in. I just want this one a wee bit longer. It's always best to, to double check. There's nothing worse if you get out onto the water and out onto the river and they're not straight. Now, I'm happy so I've taken an or a few turns down the, the hook then I'm just going to come in and sweep back the stems of the jungle cock and then we're just going to build up our head now you want a nice red head on the fly don't be shy with that keeping your thread tight just forget everything else at the moment just come in and throw in a whip finish Three turn whip finish is plenty pull your thread tight come in trim away your tail thread then you can break off the the stems of the, the jungle cock now we're doing ground so the first coat on the head is just going to be a wee drop of super glue don't want this going under the haggle we'll just ruin the the dressing only so just take your time with the super glue right the whole way right round and then once that dries guys I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal everything up just a wee favour just take that away and just to brighten the head up and that's the poker shrimp now all we have done there is just that's its brother if you like so all we have done there is just change the front haggle to the waiting lace wing if you've got the, the chartreuse cock haggle and bodger bodger haggle sorry dyed chartreuse use it and same colour combination of the body only we haven't used the, the FF dubbing so there you go guys hopefully you've got something from that that's a great wee pattern um, honestly I've tied them down to size 14's and I've had salmon so hopefully you can tie a few up and I use can fish it on your local river and it can get you a few lovely Atlantic salmon. There's there's nothing like it. The tug's the drug. Anyway, nothing we can own. Um tie a few up, hopefully it catches a few fish. Um if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time guys, please stay safe and tight lines.